No better way to ring in the new year than with some basketball over at Lee Arena. Doubleheader tonight for Washburn hosting Central Oklahoma. The injury women up first, chiming in in the fourth. Bots hold the lead, but the Broncos are closing in. Lakaiza Johnson pushing in, gets the bucket and the foul. UCO takes a four-point lead with 5.30 to go. But then Aubrey Dewey puts the team on her back. It starts with that jumper, followed by a fake against two defenders. She makes the basket anyways. Only a two-point lead for UCO now. And then the game tire. It's 60 all with a minute 30 to go. From there, Dewey inbound pass to Yabari and Widata. Ichabods take the two point lead, but the Broncos soon respond. Johnson ties it once again. Less than 30 seconds to go. How does this late game thriller end? No one else than Aubrey Dewey. Game winning layup beats the buzzer, dives to the floor and rolls. Her team is going nuts. Coach Wessling is loving it. And Washburn moves to 9 and 3 with a 64 62 win. Then the men get started, taking on the number 12 team in the country. And they get off to quite a start. Sam Ungashik drilling the three. It's 5 to 3. Ichabod. Michael Keegan then tries for one. It just bounces off the rim. Andrew Orr there fighting for the rebound when Keegan comes swooping in to bail him out and lay it in. Broncos making it a back and forth affair though. Nice shooting beyond the arc by Jalen Turner there. Then the Washburn rural product Jack Batchelor coming off the bench early waiting for his chance and takes it. It's a three point game. Batchelor now with the quick assist to Jake Shadeg. That three ties the game back up at 13 all. We know Orr can get it done in the paint, but here he just goes straight for the jumper and he nets it. Get the feeling it was a close game all throughout? Well, you'd be correct, but the Bods knock off the number 12 team in the nation, 75 to 68. They're now eight and four and back at home on Saturday for a doubleheader with Newman.